I just want to send my heartfelt thanks to everybody out there that supported me so intensely. I really love it. It's so positive, so overwhelmingly positive that I'm uh, continuing. I'm just forced to continue, and I love it. So thanks so very much. Thanks so very much. And I just wanted to create this little piece to bring you up to date uh, on what I'm doing, what I'm uh, thinking about, where I'm going, what's going to happen in the future. And the first thing I want to tell you about is that all these pieces that we have up on the YouTube right now, based on the Sacred Geometry 101 series, plus a few others floating in there, they are all being converted into a DVD, which will be extended versions, much higher resolution, much sharper than the ones you get to see on YouTube, and they'll really, really look good on a big screen. So I'm looking forward to having that DVD finished and available to the public, and when that uh, happens, I'll definitely let you know. So that brings us to number two, uh, which is a whole new series of videos I'm really excited about called the Sacred Geometry 201 series, which will be shot 16 by 9. And all these new videos will deal with very esoteric parts, aspects of sacred geometry, which we haven't touched on before. So I'm starting this whole new series of mandalas specifically for this first piece all going to be based on pentagram pentagon ideas and especially the relationship that the pentagram and the pentagon has to the golden mean which is extremely interesting so here's the first uh kind of like beginning of a mandala here this is a uh painting panel as you can see it has a it's hard board wrapped with uh canvas linen canvas all right, here's this thing. It's really fantastic. It's called Transcendental Golden Mean Parallelograms. It just looks like a bunch of straight lines and circles, but actually it's a fantastic fractal-like pattern based on the Pentagon pentagram. It spirals infinitely in and spirals infinitely out. And uh, it's just an amazing pattern. So let's look at it closer. Every mandala that I make that's based on sacred geometry has one circle, which is the key circle. In this case, it's this one right here. It's that one right there. And that circle is divided into five parts in this case. Five parts. It's right like that. Five pies. One, two, three, four, five, which creates a pentagon, which is the outside shape, and a pentagram, which is this inside shape. Very interesting. Now the reason it's called transcendental golden mean parallelograms is because of this relationship inside the pentagram right here. This line from here to there and from there to there that forms phi. So if this unit from here to here is one then the, that means that this unit from here to here is 1.618. So there's five of them. They ratchet right around there. And what that creates, that creates the possibility of a golden mean parallelogram right here. That is a golden mean parallelogram. You see there's five of them. It goes there, and then another one fits right here, and then another one fits right here, and another one fits right here. And when you put them all together, they look like this, right there. Isn't that interesting? They all hook together in this very interesting interlocking fan-like pattern. Fantastic. So what also happens, of course, is that there's another 
pentagon and pentagram inside this larger pentagon and pentagram. That one also makes a bunch of smaller golden mean parallelograms that fit in here like this, this one like that, you see? Isn't that cool? Put five of them in there, you get this thing. Another fan, a smaller one, golden mean parallelograms. So, you put the bigger one on there, like fits like that, then the smaller one fits like this. Isn't that interesting? You know? And of course, there's a whole nother set of golden mean parallelograms underneath that. Which goes, one of them goes in there like that. There's five of them also. So you see that this thing is incredibly complex and complicated and very, very difficult to see when you just take all this away. You can't see any of that. Put it back and it starts to reveal itself. So my job as an artist, as far as I'm concerned in this particular case, I've got to try to illustrate these relationships in some kind of transparent, layered kind of a way where everything starts to reveal itself. All these complex patterns start to reveal themselves and that's what I'm going to try to attempt to do here. Uh, it's very, very interesting and very challenging. So, uh, it's uh, a wonderful thing. I just about the time I think I can't find any anything new in sacred geometry that I haven't seen before. All of a sudden, something like this happens, and I just I just blow up again. So here I go. So there's another new video that's in the works, which is going to be dealing with Leonardo da Vinci's famous little drawing called the Vitruvian Man, also called Study of Human Proportion. So Leonardo was really a trickster. He was a devious. He hid things, you know, a la the da Vinci codes, you know. He was a code genius. And that little drawing is loaded with stuff, which I spent... 10 years investigating and that's what the second piece is going to be about so anyway that's what's happening and I'm looking forward to continuing this whole thing and if it wasn't for you guys supporting me and giving me a rah-rah once in a while I, I, I wouldn't keep doing it but I know somehow that I'm helping and that feels so good so anyway Love and light to you all, and namaste.